I remember the first time I saw a research ethics course when I was in graduate school, and you see it listed there in the course catalog, and you think, what is research ethics? Like, this sounds like you've never heard of it, and it seems way too broad and strange. And it didn't realize at that time that this was sort of the field that I was going to go into. But, I mean, I see it as an incredibly exciting domain. I am Spencer Hay, a PhD in philosophy at the center, and I teach the research ethics course with Rebecca Lee. Well, I do look at research ethics and drug development. I think about issues sort of looking across the entire portfolio of drug development and ask questions about whether or not we are doing this efficiently, maximizing uh, the value that we get out of this, out of this enterprise. In the first few classes, we raised this sort of, did a kind of scoping where we talked about this tension between trying to protect individual patients versus sort of improving the quality of healthcare for future patients and for everybody. The goal is really to try to improve healthcare for everybody. But the process of doing that is incredibly complicated and it's incredibly demanding and it touches on fundamental ethical issues about how we ought to treat one another, what we owe to one another as a society, as well as fundamental issues in science for how we ought to design experiments and what you can actually learn on the basis of an experiment. And to me, that makes it this really sort of rich confluence of philosophical and ethical and in some level practical issues that I think are well worth exploring.